all right so welcome back to another satisfactory video today we're going to be making a new power plant because in the last episode when we built the beautiful modular frame factory we realized that it cost a lot of power to set up to be a little bit more specific give or take the whole system and i'm pretty sure this includes the iron factory as well takes 1065 megawatts to making we're currently producing 450 megawatts in that little corner box off to the side of that factory over there so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build a bigger one as you've probably seen in the thumbnail and the title clearly gives it all away but we're gonna build a beautiful building here with a bunch of cold power plants in it because there are four cold nodes over here four normal cold nodes cold, cold nodes? four normal coal nodes that we are going to fully overclock the miners that i shove on it and then yeah we'll just shove it into a factory i don't know how it'll look and it's got the water we need so it's like the perfect pot hot, perfect spot <laughs> perfect spot for setting up a power plant okay so a little bit more progress i put up the miners and i hooked them up to a nice little platform and i think this is where i'm going to set up the factory because it seems like the best area i don't really know there's i don't want to set it up over here because we got a, a coal node and a pure or a coal node a copper node and a pure iron node that i'm going to use so i don't want to build the factory over top of this that's kind of like an inconvenience to build it there and we also got a limestone node here so i feel like this might be the best spot because it's out of the way and it's not really a spot i'm going to use i feel like it would look nice just nestled right into the mountain here i think it would look pretty cool so the next thing we need to do is we actually need to set up the uh the machines so our little beautiful uh where am i going here uh the coal generators and i'm gonna probably these uh i kind of want to fully overclock them fully overclock these and fully overclock these so i don't know how many machines we're gonna need i think i don't know how many we're making i think these are making uh 300 per minute each when they're fully overclocked yes 300 per minute so that's 1200 for four of them so these take uh i don't exactly know they take 37.5 per minute to make so i guess 30 something of them i think can run off of this properly so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set those up and i'll be right back okay so i've now built all of the coal generators so this is 32 coal generators i believe if i am remembering correctly um we now need to go ahead and connect them all up to the power we need to connect the belts up and then we're gonna need to set up water extractors over here so that we can bring them up and shovel them in here i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to bring the pipes up here because we're going to have a head lift issue with the water being extracted down here and then it sets up here i think eventually the head lift problem will go away but the beginning of the factory when we first start up the factory or i should say power plant it'll be an issue because we need to bring water and we need to lift it up and put it into these guys so that will be an issue for the beginning but for i think we'll be fine i think we will be fine and that's the power hooked up okay and that's the belts hooked up i had it gave me such a headache i kept doing my math wrong and i was just my brain i don't even know what my brain was thinking i kept hooking things up wrong and hooking up the wrong number of belts and putting the wrong belts in the wrong places it was oh it was a stressful adventure but i got there in the end and it it's uh yeah it's not like a spaghetti mess or anything like that it's pretty neat considering yeah so next thing we need to do is we need to hook up the water extractors we need to get the water going over here so that's the next thing i'm gonna do and trust me that is going to be a pain in the ass. okay so i did a little bit of building yeah, clearly i've got the water hooked up and it comes like very nicely with all the coloring and comes up here goes up into the beautiful building and it goes up through the wall i like the pipes hanging up this wall it helps detail this flat section then they come in here and then they're like this crazy spaghetti pipeline mess going all over the factory i think it looks really cool especially with these pipes hanging from the roof it looks sick to me anyway this was a pain in the butt to hook up trying to figure out all the pipes and getting it all in here it was it was it was a hard experience but i got there in the end as i did with the belts so the next thing i need to do is actually finish building the factory itself hook up the power hook up the power grid to it hopefully we can actually get this power plant running okay so i'm trying my best right now to understand how priority switches work i think i've figured it out i kind of understand how it works and i started prioritizing a bunch of stuff i've just i've just spent like the last hour trying to like go around my world hooking up priority switches and trying my hardest to make this stuff work but i just i cannot start this factory up because i don't produce enough power in my small coal plant my first coal plant to actually kickstart this factory to get it going so now i have to build another power plant to get this power plant going just so i can have this power plant running to fuel my whole world for power it's just it's a whole catastrophe and it's driving me insane and i'm getting a headache this cable spaghetti mess that i have i've had to go through all my other factories and i've actually hooked them up properly this time i'll have you know so i didn't do that in the videos but i've just done that now and this stupid factory running but this factory is so expensive i think it's like i think this is the factory right here it's a thousand which 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 wait, 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 wait. pause 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 it takes like a thousand megawatts or something like that i don't know if it takes a thousand megawatts to run this place but it's expensive i gotta get this running but i just can't figure it out uh, it's, uh, it's driving me insane 
Anyway, uh, look at the building. I did a little building work, obviously, as I said I would. Um, I uh, I built a power line going around there. It looks pretty cool because I, you know, did as power line people do and I'm distracted. Uh, this is the building. I don't mind it. I don't think it's like a fantastic looking building compared to like my uh, iron factory building. I think the iron plate the iron factory i think the iron factory building looks the best out of all the ones that i've built so far this one doesn't look too bad for where it is it's not really supposed to be looked at it's more just a purpose filled building so i just i built the factory and then built everything around it and i colored the extractors and now they look absolutely beautiful with the black on blue and the blue pipes going up into the factory looks fantastic as i do in all my buildings i added a giant glass box because uh i yeah it's like a signature piece to my build style i guess and i don't know if you noticed but i really like these little uh like uh i don't know what you would call them just like texture things that break up just the flat windows i might do one up here too it just it really does actually help break up the just the blank window texture because I, I think it looks really good I'm, I'm quite a fan of it so i've got all this space over here and i think what i'm going to do over here in this whole space and this underneath space here is batteries i wasn't too sure what i was going to do with this area i was really thinking about it but i think what might bleh, i think what might be best to do is uh throw a bunch of batteries in here that i can charge up right just kind of something like stack them up just really aggressively stack and squish them together as much as possible build the biggest battery i physically can back here i think that's the best use of this space because i'm probably not going to use it for anything else so i put in five uh, four low i was supposed to say five lights but i put in four lights just up here they're not running because i don't have power so you know i don't have them on and i've never had them on so i don't really know what they look like so and the priority switch is off and i whoops <laughs> see this is my problem right now i keep busting the damn fuse ah don't know what to do without you lizard, lizard doggo help me out please please this is killing me it's killing me crafter 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 Well, it didn't break. Not green, which is a little bit stressful. I'm like, hmm, what's going on here? Where's my power? Power! Oh, wait, that this is why. Okay, we're draining power, but that means everything's on, right? Yes. I don't see red lights. I see... I don't see lights. I'm too blind for that. Oh, but I see green lights on the littlest bumps. Yes. Progress. <gasps> yes, yes. Mm. Coal. Yes. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. We're powering up. We're firing up. Owen, there's already holy Jesus, this water was quick. I didn't think the water was already here. Has Plinko gone done did it? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, I deserve that. I pushed it. I pushed it. <laughs> My bad. Power. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Apparently, turning on four lights is breaks the whole grid. Uh, <laughs> why does that four lights and i break my whole system i don't <laughs> so strange i guess not everything's running i should probably wait for everything to be running first yes i like to see everything functioning good good yes do i have coal no okay but we are charging our batteries and i need to set up a, pri uh, a power switch for the battery system in here so that the battery i don't want the the battery system. Why is my frame rate dying? This is ridiculous. I would like to connect up a power switch to these fellers over here so that we can we can use the power, but I don't want to ever use the power from the batteries unless absolutely necessary. So if this whole factory shuts down, those batteries will be used to repower back up the factories. What my uh, what my plan is with those. So if we were to connect those up, I would only connect them up to their own separate power switch. I guess we could just shove it. Uh, right here and then if we just brought from i guess here 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 and this one went not like that definitely not like that you went down down i'm gonna turn off the the effects quality right that's it right oh that's that's no what do you mean is this doobie of the possibility oh wait now i forgot about that oh wow it's all the way back to this point what's connected and what's done circuit breaker <gasps> <What>? no. <laughs> oh. 
I spent an hour hooking all that stuff up. I, 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 I am. I am fixing something. I am fixing something. Where is the autosave interval? Womp. This is going down to like every 20 minutes. Hell no, I ain't going every 75 minutes. God damn it. Uh, oh, I just redid the power connections of the entire world. No. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. I don't even know how much video footage I have for this video, but I do not care. I am not doing with this dealing with this. I'm so annoyed. I can't even speak. I don't want to deal with this right now. I'm not going to I'm going to go do something else. Not stressful and just gonna drive me insane so i don't care how long this video is you guys are gonna yeah it could be five minutes long and it's getting uploaded because i don't want to deal with this anymore i'm done i'm done i'm done trying to figure out power i'm done i'm another day that's tomorrow problem tomorrow plinko problems i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one god damn it that's so annoying